Hello everybody. The uh, one of the challenges we have is how we can get a list of all the files in a directory. I have seen a lot of uh, videos on the YouTube shows you how you use it with shift and right click and copy pass and this that's nice and great. But the problem is that if I need the, uh, the whatever in the folder and in the subfolders as well. And also if you need to see what is the uh, sizes and the dates and uh, the attributes of all the files so this method may not work properly with you so there is another way which is an old way an easy way to do it so here is in my folder here in this folder i have my pretty pictures and i need to have a list of all those pictures and um and the subfolders as well so the first thing to do is we we'll go into the command line by uh, having the command prompt and here we are now wherever we are now is the c users and this is the user in under the users uh, uh, i need to change the directory to this directory wherever i want it um, and uh, i can go into the explorer and copy the path and go into here and say cd which is change directory Control V and now I am changing the pass to the whatever I wanted the to know the folders wherever the files are. Now uh, we will create a batch file to have all those in in a in a file in a list. But before we go there, uh, I want to show you how the things works. So uh, there is some commands in the command line which is if you want to do and see it, you can say let's say help. This will list all the commands in the uh, command line mostly and of course you you want to see it somewhere else right uh, so it's let's say now we say help but instead of showing the, the result of the command on the screen in the monitor we need to capture it in a file how to do it so you direct the output to a file let's say help list and I will give it an extension as text click now there is a small gap here time and whatever I need oh here is the new file shows up so now I can see all the help in in a file permit I can read it enjoy uh, studying it so next thing is uh, the first command we need to understand is dir which is directory uh, this will list all the directory directories files in whatever I am in this folder in picture folder you have all those subfolders and this uh, these are the files which is I need to capture uh, the the name and all those stuff great stuff Right, so now we'll say help directory. So I mean, give me all the help you can on this command. So whatever here shows is again, the how it looks like it's a directory drive. So you, you can actually uh, have a directory of whatever you wanted, like say directory of C. So it will give you everything in the C. Then you put a switch those switches switches slash a that mean you have to say the specific attribute so if let's assume directory slash a which is attribute and then i will put an s there right so how it shows it's yes it's slash a colon and then the a so colon and s so now he will show me only the uh, system files which is desktop.ini in this picture in this picture folder okay now if I said just directory slash s that mean give me all the files in the directory and also in the subdirectories here we are of course you can't capture any of these so let's say help directory 
and put it in my in in a file so directory help dot text okay so now if i go into wherever i was now i was here and i have another file which shows me a list of all the switches with the command direct so i can study explain understand google and see what's what's there that's great stuff but this is not what we want what we need is directory right slash b slash s and give it into file list dot text what i'm doing here is putting two switches slash s this means give me all the file and the sub directories files as well slash b which is the short only the file names only and put it in in a file it's called file list dot text we will talk about the extension but let's do this first okay so now if i go here i will find three text file file list if i open it oops sorry uh, this is the help file list here we are c user ncc o desktop slash agg slash blah 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 and those are the folders and here is all my files i can copy and paste it in excel file anywhere so i can control a control c now i can open excel and paste it in the excel uh, these are ex uh, ascii coded so there is no format nothing uh, if you want to see something else i will just put directory slash s and direct the output to file list underscore here we see now just the s dot now now um the the text you can open it with anything so let's let put it again in text and see what's going to happen you can say directory slash whatever s slash uh let's see what we have here in the directory help you can say the b which is bare format only the heading inside c display the thousands d name as wide l user locate case n long list format file name are on the far right o is files in sorted order so i can sort them by name so let me do uh sort them o and n so that's mean sort them by name and um hmm. right so now if i do enter it shows me all this stuff which is based on my selection in the switches but if you go with your cursors or the arrow sorry and then instead of display it on the monitor display it, uh, capture it in a uh, file i'll put the file name file underscore s underscore o underscore n why putting this it's because this is the switches i used the s the o and the n right and then i will put any name if you want to directly open it with excel you can put something like uh, the excel extensions or csv which is um, uh, comma separated values but i'll put it in a text here okay so now you will find that the file had been created here you can see uh, it shows you the volume c and then it gives you the directories and the vo sizes and all the great stuff you have but here you can see it lists first the directory and lists the stuff under this directory so under pict you have some subdirectories and some folders 
Now he goes into the first one, which is 0, 1 as a folder. And then list all the stuff which is in this folder. And then sort them again by the folder's name. That's great. Okay. So almost now, let's say uh, you can open in Excel. And I can select any of these files. And let me open the first one, which is this guy. Control A, Control C, go to Excel, Control V. I have all my stuff here. So I have the beginning. Here are the folders. Then you can see all the files here. If you want a list of all the files, control copy. Let me make a copy here and paste. Right? So the easiest way to separate the files name, if you notice, there's a backslash here and then the folder name or the backslash here and the file name. So if you want to remove all the stuff, pick the whole column, control H. Asterisk, back uh, separation thing, and replace it with nothing. Okay, then replace all. Now I have only the file names and the folder names. Okay, so the folder names and this thing. So if you want to see where is your files, filter. Sorry, I'm, I'm moving a little bit quickly, but you can, of course, see it a couple of times. Now, if you see here dot, that means this is a file. Everything with a dot is having is a file. Okay. So now if I want to do something like say text filter uh, and say, let's say it does not contain. Oops, dot. So now those are the folders. Okay, so I can do one thing, control, la, la, la. So here we are. Now those are folders, the rest are files. Now we will move to the next phase. The next thing is uh, we can uh, create this by a batch file. To create a batch file, batch file is an executable file which is uh, run under the uh, DOS emulator. So to do it, we can go into uh, something called, let's say, Notepad. So I'm running, why I'm running Notepad? Because Notepad, when it's save stuff, it does not put anything as uh, formatting to the file. So there is no anything except the ASCII code. So the only thing I need to do is write down directory, the whole command which is I've seen it previously, slash s, slash b, and put all your stuff which is you like, right? And then put it into the file. File is say, uh, files, list, and underscore one text. Why I did this? Because I can, since I'm here, I can put dir slash s, right? And then, and then put my file name, or put file list underscore two text. I can put here only uh, and instead of one, I can put uh, S and then underscore B. So, and this guy is S and so on. So I can create many, many types, right? So, and then I can see what I need most for most, most of my application. Now, here is a tricky part. 
please be careful when you save it file save as here it tells you it wanted to do it as a text file no I don't want it to be a text document it has to be all files and put your name of your file this file let's say this file I'll call it um, find files list or create file whatever now the tricky part is to put a dot then the extension should be bat which is batch file and save it whatever I wanted right so now if you look at the folder this folder you will find those are text file and you can see here the fold the, the file which is a batch file now what we will do now is double click on this folder in this file to cut all the stuff which is seen before now when you double click on this it will create the new files into the same folder here this guy this one and this one had been created now if you all you have to do is move this folder sorry do this, this move this file whatever you want the list and double click on it so if I am here right I can make a copy of this guy go up here and then put it anywhere and uh, then I can say I can paste it here right and double click on it it will list all the files in this place and in the subfolder as well so if I open this guy it's here it's all the pictures which is in this folder so next time if you need to do something like that you have only to do the uh, batch file and the batch file you just move it around whatever you want and then you can open this stuff by the uh, excel or whatever uh, software you like because it, it, it just plain plain uh, stuff here uh, next thing if you want you can create a link uh, when you click on this file it actually uh, opens the, uh, the the file which is you like you select it sorry uh, and this will do it in in a separate video